I played that character too. The only reason why I played Jacko one time for a couple of times for at least two months is because Jacko likes to show off her ass. She doesn't even have a fat ass. She just show it off, bro. She a hoe. And I don't like seeing that ass. That's the only reason I played that. What's up guys, Fruit Punch Saber here, and we back with more Guilty Gear Strive. This is my day two experience. Um, I didn't play too much because the beta went down a lot early. So at the end of the video, instead of me showing off combos and stuff, more combos that I found on Twitter, it's just going to be me showing off my fight stick. I did learn a couple of combos, but it's nothing really to really share with. I just learned like RC, blue RC cancels, some mix, and also Dolphin confirms, kind of hit confirm. Will I be doing it in any of the matches? Damn, quick match doesn't work though. Who knows? I like quick matches. Just like the previous uh, videos on day one, I'm just be commentating over my match. Because, you know, just add a little bit more commentary. But this is like full screen bang. Once you get training mode in quick match. Only play two matches. Also, as you saw in the beginning of the video, quick match doesn't work. So I had to go to the lobby system. It's me versus a soul player called No More Street Fighter V ever. I meant SFV ever. And as you can see, all I'm doing is Dolphin. Counter hit into Dolphin. Honestly, I learned combos. I know combos now. Perfect. I spent like. Combos. Who need combos? An hour and a half, almost two hours, learning. One hour of training mode. Well, one hour. Okay, one hour of training May combos, and I never really get to use them because there's no reason to, bro. I'm always on the offense, and I don't really know how to really properly punish any of these. All right, dude. Literally just me, counter hit slash dolphin, slash heavy slash dolphin. That's the mix for me. Destroy. Oh shit, dude. I'm not gonna lie. God damn it, bro. Like an hour in training mode. Yep. And all I did was dolphin, bro. Yes. I just dolphin him to death. I literally learned a whole bunch of combos, and I make sure I was consistent with the combos too. For like an hour, an hour and a half, or maybe two hours. I want to go back to fucking learning combos, and all I did was dolphin. I got promoted, so you get promoted way faster if you do lobby. Yesterday I just did quick match, but honestly I just want to play more. I don't really care too much about the lobbies. Because I don't want to touch the lobbies, to be quite honest. Let's take it out. I do it so out. that was just me just, hey, you rank up from like, hey, oh, work match the other day, hey. And then, br br right, play. that's it. Yeah, there you go, next match. So I only played two matches. It's against a soul player, and this one's Nagoriyuki. No, King Africa. Again. All right. This match, I don't think I did combos. I wanted to do combos, but they never give me the opportunity. The combo I learned is the BNB, you know, mid screen for me. Right, slash 2HS Dolphin, and then IED kick, kick Dolphin. Look at that, dude. Dude, I can't wait till people lab up against me. I wonder what you do against this. I think I saw some people saying flawless defense. So I guess when people have this game, they're going to flawless defense against May Dolphin. But I heard it's a little bit tight, though. It's pretty tight to do that. I think a good answer is try to, like, punch May before she hits you with the Dolphin. Now, like, uh, you know, when she's riding the Dolphin, this happened to me a couple times on day one beta. You can interrupt the dolphin. I didn't think you're drunk. All right, this guy is fighting back. Let's see. What do Fruit Punch Saber do? Oh, shit. 
when he got to play neutral. Anti-air dolphin! Bro! I fucked up. That's what I tried to do. So I, I tried to do the falling 2H. And then slide. See? It's just me. Day two. Day freaking two. Spent like an hour plus in training mode. Being consistent with my comments. I'm like, yeah, I can hit it. I can hit it. I hit it five times in a <laughs> I row. Have no okay. I'm not going to say shit. I'm not going to say shit. Yeah. yeah, bro. And then I just speed it up. So... This is me. This is what I see. This is why I fucking hate lobby, dude. It's just me just standing there, bro. And then me being all depressed and shit. Look how sad I am, bro. I'm just talking. Oh, I'm not touching her. Oh, God. Look at me. All right. I'm thinking. I'm like, man, when is people going to play me? Hey, this guy want to play. And then I realized, bro, my story's not even out. Fuck! Ah! And then I scream for like uh, a couple of minutes. I'm like, fuck, maybe I need like uh, change floors. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Hmm? What happened? Oh, the number of people will start dropping in the lobby, right? It says 20, right? Look at the lobby. And then it says 2. I'm like, what the fuck? Everyone's gone. What happened to the lobby? Everyone got kicked out. I was like, maybe it's me. And then this will happen. Oh my goodness. I'm so fucking sad. I'm like, fuck it. Can she fit more dicks in? Can't put it. Can she fit more D? And then I spent like basically the rest of the stream talking about how I got into finding games, all that stuff. I don't think I will upload it to YouTube. But I will upload this. It's just me just flexing on these sticks that I bought for a whole bunch of money. That's the current stick that I'm using. I'm using uh, Obsidian, a Quamba Obsidian, Guilty Gear Xer theme. It's super sick looking. I love it. Look how pretty it is. And then uh, my second stick is this one. I used a Quamba Dragon. I don't really use it anymore because I'm using the Obsidian. But I had a Quamba Dragon. And then I'm talking about... I used it when I was playing Blaze Blue Central Fiction and Exert. That's when I was, like, playing anime games. And a Nitro Plus. My chair fucking broke. I gotta buy a new chair, bro. Chair broke. And then... This is my first arcade stick. I had... So, I started playing fighting games on pad. And then arcade sticks look fucking cool. I was like, damn. I didn't have too much money back then. But then right around the PS4 era, I was like, fuck it. 200? I'm in there. And I just like bite the bullet and bought this arcade stick. It's my first one. So I started playing arcade stick around Street Fighter V. So PS3 era, PS2 era, PS1 era, pad. Maybe I should stick with pad. Pad is pretty cheap. I'm not going to lie. Cheap in like multiple ways. If you're thinking about it, gameplay wise and pricing wise. And then this is me when I was doing the, the hitbox era. When hitbox was blowing up, I was like, bro, I got to see for myself. Hitbox was pretty cheap. The only, I don't really like playing hitbox on anime games. On Street Fighter, yeah, I could do hitbox, right? Because uh, honestly, the movement is not too intense. But. Instant air dashing feels kind of weird for me, honestly, on a hitbox. And, yeah, just anime movements in general. Anime fighting games is, like, way too weird on hitbox. For me, at least. Obviously, I only did it for, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes. So, you can get used to it, obviously. But, I was like, I'd rather just play on stick. I feel like I, I, I would have more fun on stick for anime games. But, I tried it on Tekken. And then I spent, like, the entire Season 2 playing Army King on Tekken on a hitbox. Because uh, I can't really Korean backdash on Player 2. I can Korean backdash on Player 1 side. I learned, like, a ghetto Korean backdash from Eris. It's, like, back, back, and then you just, like, tw whatever. You can just look it up in YouTube it if you're wondering what I'm talking about. But uh, I can't really do it on 2P side because 2P side, you got to do, like, in the... You gotta position your hand like in a weird position. I don't know. I don't want to get too, too deep into it. If you wanna know about Korean backdash, YouTube it, Google it. But yeah, I play hitbox on Tekken. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not a big fan on um, 
anime games on Hitbox. I play on stick. And then Mortal Kombat, I still play on pad. If I still play Mortal Kombat, I don't really play Mortal Kombat anymore. Hitbox boys. But my main utility, current Fruit Punch Saber. Show, show them, show them. Oh, fix the chair, bro. Fix your chair. I never realized how big I am, to be honest, bro. Until I look at myself. Not in the mirror. I'm too disillusioned in the mirror. But on on a video. Oh, my God. Earthquake. Yeah, that's that fighting stick I'm currently using. Kwamba Sidian Guilty Gear theme. I hope that works on PS5. I want to keep using that stick. That stick is too good. It's so good, bro. I think that's my favorite arcade stick. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. Failed to upload our code. So I put in two matches today. Then game the beta stop. I wasn't too surprised to be honest. Because Guilty Gear 2020 beta didn't work. I said this uh on stream doing day one for the pre-order. Right? February 17th. Right, and then today's the 18, 19. Wait, what's today? I don't remember. When was the pre order? I think the pre order was uh 18, whatever. Basically, um, day one pre order works, and I set this on stream. I said, wait till it goes to the public. That would be the real test. The real test is when everyone have access to the game because I don't last year it just doesn't work, right. And I don't think it's the net code, to be honest, last year, right? Obviously, delay based, ah, da, 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 you know, the big war on delay based net code versus rollback. But I didn't think it was too much on the net code. It's just that their server wasn't stable. They can't handle it. They, like a huge, large amount of people playing their game, they can't handle it. I compared it to like Street Fighter V when that happened, you know, week one, the infamous start of Street Fighter V. But, but, that fucking noise, dude. Jesus. Um, and then uh, I was like, "There's no way this is gonna be stable when it's open to the public. There's no way." And then I was right. It doesn't work. I think this is open to public, and you don't even need like a PS Plus to even play the beta. So hopefully they could uh fix the server, but I think I'll, I'll call it in for GG beta. I'm not gonna try to sit like an hour and two trying to find a trying to get in. I learned from 2020 beta. I'm not gonna waste my time like that. I'll just wait till the game comes out. And hopefully when the games comes out, the servers will be more stable. And I heard they're gonna be adding a lot of stuff too. Even if the server isn't stable when the game comes out, I can still play offline, right? I want to try out that cool arcade mode, the what you can like tag team. Apparently, if you're in trouble, but you got to be losing, I want to try out survival mode. I think just playing the simple survival mode, though, right? And I don't really care too much about the story. So I just going to try arcade mode and survival mode and see what other modes they have. I remember at Xer, they had figurine mode. That was pretty cute. I wanted to go and add other modes like that. Was it just like plain and simple gameplay? No chill, right? Anyway, appreciate sure you guys stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe. If you want to catch me live, go on to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash fruit punch saber. And I'm going to go ahead and head out. All right, later. Bye.